us what Christmas means to you, Divine. Christmas means to me that God is special. Can you tell me what Christmas means to you? Opening presents. <laughs> <laughs> back to another video it is christmas yay so i'm going to church for a service christmas service basically yeah church is at 11 a.m and it's been running late basically for yeah nobody's there i'm already going to church so i'll see you guys in church it's literally like the first christmas in liverpool yeah alone as a single past time but anyway, this well. But yeah, I'll see you guys in church and yeah, go to church and Merry Christmas. I wish you Merry Christmas. I wish you Merry Christmas. I wish you Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Send me Christmas gifts. Send me Christmas gifts. Send me Christmas gifts. Send me Christmas gifts. Blows powder. <laughs> Alright, guys, see you later. Traffic accidents, and as a trauma soldier, I have 
done several surgeries in this period. And this is the period where I tend to apply more of these God-given skills in my life. I have operated people who have had air crashes, road crashes. You know, people have swallowed bottles. It's Christmas to you. Who drink a lot, alcohol intoxication, some swallow alcohol, alcohol swallow some. <laughs> for me to make more money, yeah. for me to do more groundbreaking surgeries, remove bottles from people's life, you know? <laughs> 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 so so I'm more time in the hospital. Uh, I do not like to brand, but I believe my awards, profile, and my brand all over the world speak well of me. Yeah. Christmas, for me, yeah. as the CEO of several leading products, both home and abroad, it's a time to cash out. I believe my audience will understand what I'm saying. As a CEO like myself that have um, so many products, so many businesses all over the world, it's a time where we make a lot of sales. So for us, it's about the money and where we make money. And you know, in this Christmas season, um, we are projecting from our team um, back at home, we're projecting about 12.5 increase wow. in sales um, just this Christmas like? season compared to how it normally runs. Um, so if you're a business-minded like, uh, person like myself, you understand what those figures mean. You know, it's it's going to be, if Christmas was, it's majorly increase, increase in sales, where our bank account begins to make a lot of noise. Yeah. 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 It's, it's not just any kind of noise of symbols. I mean, when it makes noise, like... <laughs> wow. Wow. Don't talk for the past 25 years. Um, you know, you have no longer been here. And uh, I, my family, I have lived a life of sacrifice. And uh, my family does understand that is the sacrifice they have to do. Um, that it doesn't need to be there all the time. Because um, if I take my children to the Liverpool Christmas market and somebody is swallowing bottles. It's uh, it be very difficult for me to rush down to. So most times they get to understand these things, you know, that is more or less like a lifesaver. So that it has to be there saving lives. And uh, if I am not there at that particular point in time when they need me, of course people will die. And when people die, my records will be broken by international. And don't forget also that uh, I have written several medical journals, a whole lot of journals, both local and uh, international. So um, in all of this, it all boils down to sacrifice. So the few times I spent with my family, I think oh, it's a very, very busy time of the year where everybody is out and about shopping for Christmas. I am right here to ask our audiences what the appeal of Christmas is. So come with me, let's dive into the discussion. Hello, Mark. You're looking lovely people. That's so lovely. Thank you so much, Ma. And let's go to someone else. Mm -hmm. Hello, Ma. Good morning, Ma. Good morning. Can you tell us what's the best gift you can wish for this Christmas? The best gift. The best gift you can ever wish for this Christmas. <laughs> and, and it is a time of reflection. It's a time to think of what we've done in the past to try and contemplate what we could do better than the next year. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. A round of applause for me, please. Good morning, sir. Good morning. 
Can you tell us what Christmas represents to you, sir? You see other religions as well celebrating Christmas. So the first meaning of Christmas is the sacrifice of Christ. Christmas is the Christmas is the sacrifice of Christ. And the also the time to the last one. Who is this time now? Who is this time now? Christmas means to you, divine. Christmas means that God is special. Oh. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Hello, y'all. How are you? What's your name? Cherry. Sarah. Can you tell me what Christmas means to you? Opening present. Ah. <laughs> This is our distinguished guest. As for me and from Glory Worship Church, we're wishing you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Mercy, for that wonderful interview. You know, I found it very quite interesting, though. Know, that especially that those children they asked. What is Christmas to you? Because you know, Christmas is about opening presents. Uh, your your stops are getting to people's houses. You know? <laughs> <laughs> people's houses. But my participants in they're working. They're working. My brother, Doctor Austin. I just hope that Dr. Austin, please pardon me. Pardon me. Pardon me. <laughs> I just hope that that um, the man that said that he likes food doesn't eat too much and find himself in your hospital. Uh, at this point, I wouldn't like to discourage him <laughs> because you see, uh, whichever way it is, it's a win win for us. <laughs> so, by the time he eats so much and then he starts having bloods in stomach, he needs to come to my hospital. <laughs> that means more money for me. So, of course, enjoy your Christmas. Eat as much as you want, drink as much as you want, but if there is need, please call my <laughs> My esteemed viewers, um, at this point, we'll be going on a very short commercial break. When we return, we'll continue with this very show. Um, we have a special guest who we are yet to introduce. Please just keep your hands, your fingers crossed, okay. your legs crossed, your head bent, okay. and, and just give us your ear. When we return, we'll continue. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, just before we get the conclusive part to that drama, which I believe everyone is looking forward to, um, we would have a very short spoken word session. Through verse 8 from 8 to 14. That night there were shepherds staying in the field nearby, guarding the flock of sheep. Suddenly an angel of the Lord appeared among them, and the radiance of the Lord, the Lord's glory surrounded them. They were terrified. But the angel assured them, don't be afraid, he said, I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all people. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord, has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David, and you will recognize him by the sign. You will find a baby wrapped slowly in stripes of cloth lying in the manger. Suddenly the angel, joined by the great vast host of others that arrives of heaven praising God and saying,
worth of the words peace on earth if it's rooted, if it's not rooted in the truth of Christ's birth? What benefit is it for us to discuss the joy of this season unless we fix our hearts and our minds on the principal reason that Christ has atoned for us? You see, Christmas is more than just a story of a baby and a manger. It's more than a poor fiance engaged to a humble virgin teenager. More than magi, more than gold, frankincense and myrrh. It's more than a narrative of a nativity scene. It's so much more than what occurred. It's the coming of the Messiah, the fulfillment of the Old Testament promises, the prophecy of the suffering servant and all of his accomplishments. The second person of the Trinity, commissioned to abandon his position and literally set aside the exercise of his attributes in full submission. The word manifested in the flesh, the fullness of God expressed, the self-emptying Jesus poured out his father's request. The image of the invisible God, the radiance of the Father's fame, holy but retained humanness to empathize with our pain. He was unjustly crushed, chastened, cursed, and shamed, mocked and adorned with a crown of thorns, disgraced, but he still faced the grave. To fulfill the Father's will, to come and die in the place of sinful men, and receive the full fury of God's judgment upon himself instead. The most memento mark of mankind made in human history, Wretch sin is being made righteous only by the wounds of the risen king. The condensing of the holy God made in the likeness of men. A child born to be a savior that will save the world from their sins. The offspring of the virgin's womb, the Christ, God's own, fully God yet fully man. The only thanatropic one. This is what we celebrate. Christ, the newborn king, veiled in the flesh, the Godhead, see and hail, the incarnate deity. Thank you.